Okay, welcome back. In case you are just joining us, we're here with Judy and Shari Zucker, who have authored a new book called The Memory Diet. And we've already heard about the power of certain brain boosting food groups. Now we are going to dive into some recipes and more information about your book and that you're best selling books, right? I mean, this is not just, oh, here's our hobby. This is something that really, really can change people's lives. Right, right. So Thank talk you. about, yeah, thanks for joining us. Talk about why you decided to to read or write these books and help people live a healthier lifestyle. Well, we first started writing books when we were 16 years old. Wow. Our first book was published called How to Survive Snack Attacks Naturally. It sold over 80,000 copies and we don't even have that many relatives. <laughs> yeah. So basically <laughs> after that, and our inspiration for all the books have been our mother. Our mother was a horrible cook. Yes. And so, <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and it she was knows survival. That. Yes. So after that, but now Seven books later, we've written The Memory Diet, more than 150 healthy recipes for the proper care and feeding of your brain. And our mother is once again our inspiration, but it's not as funny no, it's because not funny. she has dementia. Okay. And she inspired us because we took her to the doctor and we went with, the, went with her and we found out that she, when she was diagnosed with dementia, that it was environmentally induced. And it wasn't genetic. Interesting. It was, so we were happy about that, but we were sad because we wanted to know what could cause this. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and with no known cure and over 47 million people in the world who have Alzheimer's and dementia, we really took it upon ourselves to do extensive research for two years. And when we wrote this book, not only are there recipes, but we give people helpful hints on how to prevent this. This does not have to happen. No, it doesn't. Getting dementia and Alzheimer's is not a normal, natural process of aging. That's right. so interesting. Now, yes. and you're both vegetarians, is that correct? Yes, we okay. are. I'm a vegetarian as well. And so I think one of the things is people, the biggest question, and they're like, not just like, oh, what helps your brain health, but how do you get your protein? Oh, they always say that. Don't they? They, they do. always, always say that. And what do you, what's your and response? Excess protein turns into fat. And we get, you know, there's more protein in broccoli than there is in meat. So people don't really understand all this protein stuff about and In our nuts and diet. seeds, too, in our grains and our beans and our legumes. Legumes, there's so much protein and utilized protein that is so good for you. When we did the memory diet, we wrote this book, is based around the mind diet, which was done out of Rush University Medical Center in Chicago. And what they did is they studied um, senior citizens for nine years and the, their diet and how that affected their memory. And what they found by sticking to the mind diet, which was leafy greens, mostly plants and vegetables, they reduced their chances of getting Alzheimer's by 53%. Yes. Wow. And there's so many great ways to reduce your chances of getting dementia because it's not normal. And, and every loss does not have to happen. And the irony is that even though we're gonna talk about all these foods, because foods can harm and foods can heal, the number one thing that people can do to reduce their chances of getting Alzheimer's and dementia is exercise, okay? Really? We, we ran for an hour and a half before we came here this morning. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's our coffee. There we did go. Did you really? Yes, yes. we did. Yes, yes. And, um, and then, <laughs> yep, it was dark. And if we have to do a show at two in the morning, we'll be up at 12 midnight if we're on the East Coast, and we'll just run. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so in addition to running and your exercise, right. what are the seven brain boosting is it bra is brain, it brain boosting, boosting food foods? Brain okay. boosting okay. food groups. Okay, but we have the Christmas vegetables, like, like your broccoli, our okay. cabbage, and what that it really helps Cauliflower. absorb. Okay, go ahead. It helps absorb the excess mercury in the body, and it, mercury is very unhealthy for the brain. We actually get excess iron from meat sources. Right. Red, Red meat, meat and it's not that great for the brain. It accumulates in, in the fact, brain. In fact, when they did the mind diet, which we send around the plant-based aspects get. of, in our book, The Memory Diet, in the mind diet, they say there are certain foods to stay away from. And they are red meat, which is a saturated fat, but also has an accumulation, could accumulate iron in our bodies, but also pastries, fried foods, butter and cheese and processed foods processed so the seven brain cheese. boosting foods you have first, <laughs> first, have, fun with you. You have, fun with first have your, your crucifix vegetables your leafy green vegetables which are your red leaf lettuce your romaine your collard greens your spinach then you have 
fruits and vegetables, which are like raspberries, blueberries, grapes, strawberries, apples, and we try to buy organic as much as possible. Okay. We, and and no seasonal too. too. Right now, everything is seasonal, like corn and strawberries. These are all and, they'll and taste you, sweeter. And you have your nuts, your seeds. You get your omega threes, and which are your fatty omega three fatty acids, which have DHA and EPA, which is excellent for the heart, which is also excellent for the brain. Usually, if it's good for the heart, it's good for the brain. And the colon. And, so we have this thing, you know. It's good for the, you know, every part of the body. The this gut health the affects the whole body. So what's good for the gut is good for the whole body. And so then you have your herbs and your spices. For example, black pepper is the most widely used spice in the world. It's got peppering in it, which is so good for the brain. And, uh, it protects the neurotransmitters in the turmeric. brain. Turmeric. Turmeric is great. In India, it's an anti-inflammatory. In India, they have the lowest incidence of Alzheimer's in the world because they use so much curry powder, which has turmeric in it, which is anti-inflammatory. Right. right, and garlic is excellent. But make sure you both eat garlic if you're with company, but it's great for you. Okay, it reduces well, tumors. We are going to take a short break, but we're going to come back and show them some of the recipes. Is that correct? Like, oh, yeah, we're, we're going to make, make the Southwest, Southwest Black Bean Salad. Yeah. You guys are twins. So you yeah, we were going to say it in harmony. Right? You are? I, yeah, love we're in harmony. I love it. Okay. We just have so much energy. I'm so happy that you're all here. This is so interesting and informative. Okay, we'll be right back uh, with more from Judy and Shari Zucker. Stay with us. And we are joined back again with Judy and Shari Zucker, the energy twins that we have here to wake you up. And they're going to be making the black bean, or is it Southwest black bean the Southwest salad? Southwest black yes. bean salad. Okay, let's get started. It's very Tell simple. Us what's this in it. is a crowd pleaser. It's, it's very easy. Delicious. We measure um, our own lemon juice. We get it from my trees. You can use lime juice too, but I like to do seasonal. My lime tree is usually in and November. And then we use extra virgin olive oil. And so Shari will whisk do. that together. And we could put, you could put sea salt in it, or you could put some black pepper. And I like to grind everything fresh like that so we put some pepper in this now like Shari mentioned pepper has piperine in it which is great for memory it, it also protects the neurotransmitters of the brain so then we add black beans which are excellent high in fiber one of the brain boosting groups right and it also we're going to put some fresh corn in here you can get canned corn but we it's right seasonal right now so I just steamed it we talk about that in the book too about steaming fruits and vegetables and then we add red which cabbage is and healthier for you because that way because it when you cook vegetables and you fry them or meats you increase what they call AGEs which is advanced glycation end products and which is not as want. healthy for the brain this diabetics are aware of this and it's real important and this is a uh, diced re uh, red onion which is excellent right. Gives and we have some meat. sliced olives here black olives black which are olives. great for you and from my garden, tomatoes. And this is most of the stuff is from my garden, which is great. And then we dice that together and put this. And then we put some uh, diced cilantro. cilantro. Now, so cilantro comes from the coriander family. And it's, it's an herb. excellent for you. It actually has potassium. It has B1. And vitamin K, which also keeps all the blood flowing good in the body, and especially to the brain. That's right. All the B vitamins are excellent for the brain. And it's just so beautiful. You know, the thing about these types of salads and foods is they look so fresh. Yeah, they and, do. Mm. And you just, you love the, all of that. You I'm know? trying to soak in all the knowledge. <laughs> oh, I know. We, what does each thing do for your body? But that's why people can go and get the book and then they'll have this as a guide <laughs> so that they can look these these uh, recipes up. Is there? Do you have a favorite recipe in this book? Oh, well, I, I really love the carob brownies. I say let's bring oh, carob back. Yeah. Right, and our recipes, there are no sugar in any of the recipes, no refined sugar, so there's also and, and natural sweeteners, whether it be pure maple syrup. And, and everything. people can go to our website, doubleenergytwins.com, too, okay. and they can see everything there, too. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, and now, do you have do you have a Facebook page? Yes, we social do. Media? Okay. And Twitter, follow on Twitter, we always Facebook give is the Double Energy Twins and at the DBL Energy Twins for Twitter. Instagram, Double Energy Twins. Pinterest, we put recipes up. They can get a recipe of the month at our website. We're very much into this because for Shari and I, we've always felt our purpose in life is to inspire others to live a healthful lifestyle. Well, I'm inspired. Good. Good. I mean, because I'm already a vegetarian, but now I feel like I have more knowledge about what helps me. You can and, take it to the next level. And I have an answer when people ask about proteins. Oh, there's plenty of protein <laughs> vegetables. There All right, I loved having you both here. Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank for you. coming on. Thank you. All right, we're going to turn things over to Meredith now with a look at the forecast. I'm jealous. I the food looks so good. <laughs>